I came here because I need a job. So if you could just type my info into your computer, something in upper management would be great. I'm literally on the verge of having to move back in with my parents and I don't want to do that. I got nothing for you. Moving back in with your parents right now doesn't sound like such a bad idea. I don't know how to say this without sounding terrible, but you're the worst guidance counselor ever. Lose a scarf. Freak. Your father and I were wondering if we could buy you a couple new outfits for your stay. We recognize your more European approach to fashion. Well, Dad, I'm good. Are you okay? You seem flustered. Next time you interrupt your mother sucking my dick, there's gonna be hell to pay. It's nothing 15 or 20 drinks won't fix. <laughs> I used to take the bus to school with this kid. He used to be fatter than shit. Lay off him, Pope. You don't remember me, do you? Becca Thompson. Raymond, hmm? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop staring at my tits. Still believe in all that paranormal stuff? I've experienced it firsthand. <laughs> I used to see ghosts regularly, and then just suddenly it stopped. Sounds like you have an amazing gift. Why don't you pursue a career in the paranormal? I only came here to warn you. There is an evil spirit lurking on your property. Good luck. This has got me out of a lot of hairy situations. How are you supposed to communicate with the dead? You have to follow specific rules. You fucking kidding me? Shh, keep your voice down. You're gonna wake up my dad. I look like a clan member. Your father gave the skeleton to me. That makes it a donation. But it doesn't belong to you. There's nothing I can do to help persuade you? Him. What about him? What about me?